Good morning, my friends. <laughs> There's a million better places I could do this than in a motorbike park outside a big mall. I wasn't intending to come here. I haven't been to Chiang Mai for a few years, and obviously I've took the wrong road. Headed back out to the airport instead of going to Neiman, where I was intending to go. Doesn't matter. Just want to say good morning. We are in Wahin. We got here last night, and um, we have a little bike, which means we can get around a little bit. The sun is shining down. It's a beautiful, beautiful, but very hot day. Here we are down at Taipei Gate in Chiang Mai. Um, videos, making videos, hasn't really been a thing on this trip. I have failed on most videos I've made. I made some videos yesterday and I spent the whole time calling this place Wahin, even though I'm in Chiang Mai. I think I'm still recovering from my um, hot brownie. Anyway, I'm in Wa See? I'm in Chiang Mai, which is probably on my top five places in the world. Um, I think the only real downside of this place is when it gets a haze season. It's disgusting. It's still quite hazy out there now. But it's a beautiful place, the sun is a shining. So much history here. As you can see with this wall, the Taipei Gate, one of the gates into the, the city. The city is a moated square, effectively, the old city. And then outside we've got all this other stuff. But it's stunning. I love everything about Chiang Mai. There's very few things I dislike about Chiang Mai. Um, you've got such amazing countryside. You've got mountains off in the distance. You can go off to Pai, you can go off to Chiang Rai. There's so much to see, so much to do. You could spend months here and just every day would be something special or something different. So I failed to make videos. I failed to make great, interesting videos. I'm going to try a bit harder today. I'm going to take the camera out with me. I'm going to try to do some, some filming around the old city. So come with me. So one of the things you've got to be aware of when you're vlogging is that your camera's recording because I've just spent a long time trying to help you people with your travels. If you come to Chiang Mai, one thing I was going to tell you is if you hire a bike or even a car, but mainly a bike because they're the ones that get stopped the most, you're going to get stopped by the police in Chiang Mai a lot. They wait all around the moat area, which is what we are now. I've already passed one further back and this one, so that's two, one on each side of the road. They also often wait around Maya Mal, outside of Maya Mal, so not on the way up to Doi Sutet. They will catch you and they will find you. The only way you can not be fined, really, is to have the right license. So if you're an Asian, 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 you've got the right license. So you have the right license, you can, um, you can drive here on your Asian license because you're part of Asia in the same way that in the UK we used to be part of Europe. We used to be. Um, as you saw, that man didn't want me filming, policeman. You can, as a Westerner, ride here on a motorbike if you have an international license. I can't go there. If you have an international license. However, most people don't. Most people just turn up, go to bike hire place, hire a bike. Now, for the first time ever, the place I hired a bike from asked me if I had the international license. So that's good, because they're obviously protecting their customers or trying to. Now, you get stopped, they'll ask you for a certain amount of money. You pay it, they let you go. I mean, it's not like they're not gonna take you off the bike, not let you carry on. But the thing is, you can get stopped multiple times a day if you're unlucky. Last time I was here, I got stopped. Well, I paid eight times. I think I got stopped nine times. One time I tried to run. I saw them up ahead like I just did with this lot. Took a turn down the lane. And uh, probably a good three, 400 meters before I fall, I got to them. And parked quietly down a side road. I was just gonna wait a while. Anyway, police bike came down. He'd obviously seen me, followed me down. I made up some rubbish excuse, which he knew was rubbish, I'm sure. Uh, and he was just like, you know, just be careful and carry on. Didn't find me, let me go, nice guy. But I've just had enough by then. I was getting so stopped so much. 
So my plan really is, if I come to Chiang Mai and I don't have an international license, I'm not hiring a bike. Just not. But I have my international license with me this time. And I'm still not putting myself out there to get stopped. Why go through the trouble? Why go for the hassle of them trying to find something else that they can charge you for? So Chiang Mai has changed. Last time I was here, it's only about three years ago. It has changed a lot. I don't know if it was three years ago. That's probably before, probably been before COVID. Maybe it's five years ago. Some of my old favorite haunts have disappeared. There's a little burger joint on the moat I used to like going to, little bit outside ones, and they changed to called Smokehouse Barbecue. Haven't eaten there yet, might try it. Um, but also, there's a, a, like an incredible amount of tattoo parlors, tattoo shops, and an incredible amount, as there is in also in Bangkok and Wahin, of cannabis shops. We've got a we've got a temple, I guess. I'm not really into the temple world, so you know, again, another reason not to bother me, not to really follow me. Um, I don't really go much to temples. I don't go much to mosques. I don't go much to churches. I don't go much to temp anything like that. Doesn't doesn't interest me. You're free to do whatever you want to do. It's your time your money and it's your life so what we're doing now is we're going for a little walk around the old city this is inside of the moat yeah right inside of the moat and i'm just walking blindly i parked my bike cutters all the police and thought well you know it's a perfect excuse to go for a walk isn't it and that my children is what we're doing so if you look around me you'll see what i see look at that it's actually quite hazy today as you can see i'm sure So yeah, we're just going to wander through the old city. Oh, yeah, so I was saying yes. So there's no shortage of uh, visitors. I see a lot of visitors here. But I was out last night, not late, but till like nine o'clock, and the restaurants. We're all like a couple of tables at max. Most of them were empty. The bars, there were literally bars I was walking past with nobody in apart from the girls, you know, the girls. So there's a lot of people here, but they don't seem to be going into the nightlife thing. I can definitely see cracks appearing. You know, Chiang Mai is not going to survive if people are coming and they're not spending just not going to work like that or it's going to change have to change doesn't need all the girly bars doesn't need all the massage parlors i don't think it needs all the tattoo parlors there's so many it's ridiculous i had lots of plans for coming to this holiday and none of them none of them they've all gone by the wayside i was going to film videos specifically for my third channel which i've done one badly and no others I was going to go to certain lots of places that I've written down and do lots of different things that I've written down and eat lots of different food that I've written down. And when it comes down to it, I'm doing none of it. I'm not falling out with travel as such. I've definitely fallen out with vlogging while I'm traveling. Um, I think it's the, the thing. I mean, the thing is, my second channel is literally just me walking around with a camera pointing it where I'm going, not commenting, 10 to maybe 20 minutes long, shopping malls or streets or areas. And that's getting, with less than three or less than 250 subscribers, it's getting half the watch time my main channel gets. And that's got four and a half thousand subscribers. And I put a lot of effort into it. I know it might not look like it, but you know, I'm old and stupid. I do the best I can. I'm just not very good at it. So seeing how well my second channel is doing, I'm like, ugh, I could just make videos like this, you know? So as I said earlier, I don't really show temples and stuff. It doesn't really interest me. And um, the fact is, you know, if you want to go and see that stuff, 
you want those kind of videos. There are a million vloggers that do that kind of content or will include that stuff. It's like, I've kind of fallen out of the, the content that is just people walking through a city and going, oh look, mangoes, oh look, fried rice, oh look, a house, oh look, a shop, oh look at those children. I've kind of done with that. What I prefer to do is walk around, give you a glimpse of something, and then rant and moan and groan and complain that nobody watches me, because obviously I'm not giving them what they want, which is, oh look, fried rice, oh look, a mango, oh look, a sausage, oh look, a school. I don't know, I mean, if, 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 that, if that gets you going, and if it does, and it does, I don't know, brain dead. Thank you.